Hello students, today we are going to discuss about the last group of the microorganisms. Before this we have discussed about the bacteria, fungi, algae, protozoans and now we will be discussing about the viruses. Now what are viruses? Actually these are neither the uh, ones which falls in the category of living organism nor they fall in the category of uh, non living things. Then what are these viruses? Actually virus become active only when they enter in the body of any other living organism maybe plant or maybe animals. So this is a very important characteristic feature of virus that viruses are neither like they do not fall in the category of living beings and nor they are there in the category of non living things and they use the cell they use the body of the other organisms it can be plants or it can be animals these viruses are very very minute uh, in size if we talk about the bacteria even the viruses are smaller than the bacteria. But these small microorganisms are much more uh, dangerous if it uh, if we compare with the other microorganisms. So first of all we will write these points that these are very minute microorganisms and I said that these are even smaller than the bacteria are even smaller then bacteria. But as I said these are very very dreadful and are responsible for spreading or are responsible for various diseases. First of all I have written over here that, that these are very very minute microorganisms and these are even smaller than the bacteria. The next very important point which I want to write is viruses are the one which do not show the features of either living or nor of non living things. Nor of non living things. Then what are they? They become active only when they enter in the body of any living creature. So let me write over here, here I have written viruses are the one which do not show the features of either living or nor of non living organisms or things. Virus becomes active, virus becomes active when they enter I should even write over here only only when they enter when they enter the body of living organism and this living organism can be either plant or an animal. It can be plant 
or an animal. These are the very important characteristic feature of the viruses. Now, if we talk about the diseases, if we talk about the diseases, there are uh, there are n number of diseases which are there because of the viruses. Say, for example, mumps, polio, chicken pox. Even when the small pox were there. It uh, was there, it was there because of the viruses. Maybe I can say the dreadful, the most dangerous disease, the AIDS, is also because of the viruses. So, viruses are the one which are responsible for various diseases. They spread or they give rise various diseases. like now they spread or they are responsible for various diseases like maybe chicken pox aids mumps polio conjunctivitis Even normal cough or cold I should say is also because of the virus. So, there are and there is a big list, there is a big list of these diseases. So, viruses are very dangerous as they are, they are causing, they are giving rise to various diseases. And even if uh, uh, these viruses you know, uh, are in inactive form, it does not mean that they are dead. As soon as they get the body, they enter the body, they become active. Now, if we try to draw certain structure, I won't be discussing the main structure of the virus as this is not at all there in your syllabus, but just to uh, uh, you know, discuss a little bit that they have either DNA or RNA and the the structure is very very minute which is which I just told that it is even smaller than the bacteria. I will just draw few uh, uh, diagrams or few viruses because this structure we do not have to discuss. So, I will just draw few viruses over here. First of all, I can draw the simple polio uh, virus. These viruses can be uh, seen or the viruses are there or like there are various structures, various shapes and sizes of the viruses also. So, I am drawing this very rough diagram of the polio virus. I can even draw the mums. Mums, if I talk about, even I here just want to mention that I am not discussing the structure of the virus. I am not discussing the structure as we have discussed the structure of the bacteria and even we have discussed the structure of the fungus also. But here I am not discussing the structure, I am just drawing a outline diagram of few uh, viruses. And as I told that these viruses are there of different shapes and sizes. So, this one is a mums virus. A uh, tobacco mosaic virus, this is a tobacco mosaic virus. 
So there is nothing much which we are going to discuss about the viruses. We are discussing, uh, we have discussed till now only two to three points and only this we will be discussing. The main points like these are very minute and are dread, dreadful, dreadful that means they are responsible for various diseases like chicken pox, AIDS, polio, cold and cough, mums, conjunctivitis and there is you know uh, I, I can say that there is the list is very very long and they use the cells of the other living organism. They use the cells of the other living organisms as we have uh, read about the microorganisms which in the microorganisms we have read they have their own body structure. They use their own body, they use their own cells to reproduce for the growth and that is the reason it is uh, you know in comparison if I talk about it is easy to fight with the diseases which are uh, caused by bacteria or protozoans. But it is really difficult to fight with the diseases which are caused by the virus. Why it is, uh, why it is difficult because they do not have their own, uh, they do not use the energy from their own uh, body, they do not reproduce by their own cell. They utilize the cells of the other organisms. So when the uh, you know when the medicines are given, then it becomes uh, difficult uh, to you know these medicines do not cure the viral diseases. Uh, cannot cure. Why it cannot be cured by the antibiotics? Because antibiotics are going to kill what? What are they going to kill? because the viruses are the one which are using the cells of the other organisms. So ultimately if the antibiotics are taken then the cells of the host will be killed and not the host, the cells of the uh, viruses will be killed. The effect is there but it is not as the case as there in the case of the bacteria. and so vaccines are much uh, useful. This we will be discussing in when we will talk about the differences between the bacteria and the uh, viruses. So this was all about the viruses that they show certain special feature that they are neither the living things neither uh, nor they are non-living things. They use the cell, they use the energy, they use uh, how do they uh, reproduce again the, everything is utilized by the uh, other organisms cell. And they are responsible for various diseases. Here I have drawn certain viruses also like the polio virus, mum, mums uh, and even the tobacco, tobacco mosaic virus. So now we will be discussing about the next topic this was all about the virus and as I told that here we are not discussing about the structure of the virus. This is outline we are talking about. When we have, when we were discussing about the other microorganisms, we discussed on both the sides, the usefulness and the uh, harmful effects. But here I am not discussing anything about the usefulness and the harmfulness because most of the viruses are harmful. Yeah, we know that there are certain viruses which are nowadays used for uh, as, uh, in genetic engineering and even to cure certain uh, brain uh, tumors and something you know some certain diseases. But still we cannot say that viruses are beneficial for us as we discussed in the case of the bacteria. There are certain bacteria which are very very useful for us. Take the example of lactobacillus. Okay, the lactobacillus is the one which gives us the food items like curd, it, it gives us uh, the curd it is useful as, uh, for us, there are certain bacteria which are used to make uh, antibiotics. When we talk about the fungi, uh, they, we have discussed the uses of fungi in detail. We know that there are many many fungi which are very beneficial for us, beneficial for us in many industries. But when we talk about viruses, we do not have much to discuss about the beneficial part of them. And so I am not discussing about that and just we have discussed about the few diseases which are due to the viruses. 
and now after this we will be talking about the next topic. Now we will talk about how diseases get spread from micro like how microorganisms enter into our body. Microorganisms can enter in our body through various ways maybe from uh, food maybe by uh, water uh, maybe air maybe by contact. So, maybe sometimes there are certain carriers who carry the microorganisms and microorganisms get chance to enter in our body. So, now we will be discussing about certain communicable diseases also communicable diseases. What is the meaning of communicable diseases? The disease which is or the diseases which are spread due to microorganisms. Those diseases which spread through microorganisms because of what? Through air, water, contact, all these things. So, this is how the disease spread from one person to the another person and from where to where it will move all these diseases all the micro microbes all the microorganisms will move from a body of the infected person towards the body or to the body of the healthy person. If the healthy person's body is or, or a body which is which do not have lot of resistance or I can say that if the immune power is less then the microbes will attack and definitely the person will suffer from the disease. That means if we want to be free of diseases we need to increase our immune power. So, we are discussing about the communicable diseases and what is the meaning of communicable diseases or how can I define communicable diseases. So, I can write diseases that are spread through microbes diseases that are spread through microbes from the body of a, of a body from the body of an infected person to the body of a healthy person by means of by means of what by means of air water food or contact or contact. What is the meaning of communicable diseases? A disease which is spread by microbes and the disease will be spreaded from the infected person to the healthy person and through what it will be? Uh, it will be it will get spread it will be what what will be the mediums. So, medium can be air can be water can be food and can be contact. How? Take the example of the air suppose a person is suffering uh, from cold and he sneezes without covering his mouth and the nose what will happen the microbes will be coming out in the air 
along with the uh, the particles which comes out from the nose during the sneeze in this way the microbes which are responsible for certain diseases maybe the cold it will come and get mixed up in the air and the next person who is just standing in front of the infected person will inhale and those microbes will enter into the body of the healthy person if i talk about water water is the uh, you know the uh, the impure water gives rise to many diseases can be dysentery can be uh, diarrhea cholera uh, maybe a typhoid many diseases uh, you know comes uh, or it comes into existence just because of the unclean water or un uh, you know the unsafe water when person consume unsafe water or un uh, you know the impure water now what is the meaning of impure water what is the meaning of unsafe water the water which is not fit for drinking and if the person consumes see first of all what is the meaning of a potable water potable water means the water which is fit for drinking now what is the meaning of fit for drinking fit for drinking means the water which is free from disease causing microorganisms but when the water from the sewage get mixed up with the uh, uh, pure water again the microorganisms comes and get mixed up and will be responsible for uh, for causing various diseases maybe when due to you know when the uh, some uh, melas are organized you know may, uh, some rituals are there in the cities and many people come you know uh, and take bath in the river what happens during that you know always remember during the sihast or all such kind of uh, melas the people are always advised to take uh, vaccines or you know the uh, the precautions Uh, reg regarding all these things, why? Because when many people comes and take the bath, when the uh, uh, when the excreta is you know, or the when the uh, when the person defecate in the open, what will happen? The microorganisms will get a chance uh, to be there everywhere, in the air, in the water. So what will happen when the when so many people taking bath in the rivers? when so many people using uh, the uh, limited area the excreta is uh, you know uh, or the person uh, excrete urinate in the open and if the person is uh, infected the microorganisms will move very fast and when the area is crowded the chances of spreading the uh, spreading or uh, the chances of uh, this diseases or the microbes to spread will increase or it increases so what i was talking about i was talking about unsafe water if water is unsafe if water is unsafe means it is not fit for drinking not fit for drinking that means if it has got microbes disease causing microorganism that means microbes it has got and if such kind of water is uh, is consumed by the person then there are chances of falling ill even it is always advised that water should be kept at a very neat and clean place it should not be kept where the you know uh, some uh, chances increases of what chances increases that the my, the 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 clean the conditions are not clean unhygienic conditions if the water is kept if the drinking water is kept in an unhygienic uh, place or condition then the microbes will increase and definitely the person will fall or the 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 one who consumes that water the one who drinks that water will be falling ill when we talk about food if the food is uncovered even when the food is uh, not cooked properly when the food is spoiled that means if it is kept for more than uh, the period it is it has to be suppose uh, 
uh, you know the food some people uh, use the food of the previous day also but if the the food is you know kept outside only and in the summer days especially if it is done and if it is consumed we have discussed that then many microorganisms uh, you know they mm. comes existence and that is the reason it again the food such kind of food will also be responsible for creating lots and lots of diseases and that is the reason it is always advised to keep the food covered when we enjoy charts and bales and all these things from the roadside area we should just keep a, a note that the food is covered over there so this is the thing that when the air when the microbes comes in the air when they, they can spread through the water also they can spread through the food also and by contact also there are certain diseases which also uh, spread due to just by, with, by contact also take the example of the chicken pox if a child uh, has chicken pox in the house if another child is also there certainly that child will also be uh, very soon uh, even that child will also have chicken pox why because it spreads very fast so these all are the means through which the diseases or the microbes disease causing microorganisms can spread and all these kind of diseases are known as communicable diseases now one more thing which i told over here that the carriers i was talking about now what are these carriers carry and the carriers carry and the carriers i'm talking about the mosquitoes and the flies the house flies are the common or uh, are the one which carries microbes and transfer or spread the microbes from one place to another when uh, when the uh, excreta is done in the open when the some person deficit in the open what will happen obviously the microorganisms will be there and this microorganisms uh, what will happen even the house flies and the mosquitoes will sit on such kind of thing and these microorganism get stuck to or enters into their body and when we talk about the mosquito when they suck the blood uh, talk about female anopheles mosquito when uh, the female anopheles bites the healthy person what will happen the parasite is there in the body the parasite if the parasite is there which parasite plasmodium see i'll talk about this thing again i'm talking that there are certain uh, living organisms which carry the microbes the carriers can be the care the carriers can be house fly they can be mosquitoes now mosquitoes and the house fly they carry the microbes we say malaria is due to the uh, mosquito but what mosquito is doing what mosquito is doing especially when i talk about female anopheles what this female mosquito has it has got a parasite inside this it has got a parasite a microorganism which is known as plasmodium plasmodium is a parasite which is responsible for the disease malaria now when the when the female anopheles mosquito when the female anopheles mosquito bites the healthy person and this female anopheles if carries the parasite the microorganism which is what plasmodium even the plasmodium have various species 
few species of plasmodium like plasmodium vivax is responsible for causing malaria so when this plasmodium enters into the female anopheles body okay so what will happen when this female mosquito will bite the healthy person what will happen the plasmodium will get entry it will get entry into the body of healthy person when female anopheles mosquito who has got parasite plasmodium inside the body that means this mosquito will have plasmodium in their body plasmodium is what again it is a microorganism now this plasmodium is responsible for the disease malaria if i talk about again the other mosquito again mosquito female obviously the female bites now if i talk about the aedes okay i am talking about the carriers there are certain uh, insects or uh, i am talking about the house fly and the mosquitoes they can they the microbes enter into their body these microbes live inside their body and they transfer they get transferred to the uh, healthy human beings or healthy animals body when these mosquito bite the healthy person or healthy animal so here i have discuss i am discussing about the carriers like mosquitoes i have discussed about the female anopheles which may have the plasmodium and these plasmodium when enter into the body of the humans or the animals are responsible for uh, causing malaria now i am talking about the another mosquito and the these mosquito again see female only bites so now i am talking about the aedes female aedes which is responsible for dengue now same is the case with the chikungunya also how chikungunya gets spread again when the uh, you know all these are uh, i'm talking here about the what the carriers the mosquitoes the mosquito uh, when the microorganisms enter into the body of the or they live in the body of the mosquitoes when they give when they get entry into the another organism's body they divide they multiply and thus they cause various diseases so this was all about the communicable diseases how the disease can be transferred from a infected person to the healthy person it can transfer through air with the person may sneeze or cough or without covering and you know even when the person who is suffering from the tuberculosis again it is due to the bacteria when the person uh, you know uh, a tb patient ha you know has to uh, uh, spit out again again when a tb patient spits uh, and he doesn't uh, use a spit bowl or spit on to uh, spit and he just spits in the open the microorganisms comes into the air and again it will uh, these microbes will get an entry into the another human being or another organism uh, and the animal that means the microbes will get entry from the infected person to the the healthy person by air if the person sneezes coughs Uh, like the you know, the person is coughing and it's not covering if the person is spitting in the open and thus the microbes get chance to enter water if the un, uh, unclean water is taken and the uh, we know that the water has got various my disease causing microbes and so the microbes will again get a chance to enter into the body of the living other healthy organism 
food as we have discussed if the food is open if the food is not covered if the food is not cooked if the food is uh, no if we are using uh, food uh, uh, for the whole day we need to the we need to what we need to heat the food isn't it it has to be uh, kept on the gas it has to be boiled again the curries the sabjis the vegetables if you are using uh, in the summer days especially if the we, if you are using the morning vegetable in the evening also we need to boil it before it before we use sorry so why because this can kill the microbes now again the contact by contact also as we have discussed the microbes get enter uh, entry into the other organisms body and the the carriers also because the certain organisms carry the microbes into their body and thus this these are the different ways how microbes enter into the uh, uh, into a healthy body by all these means so one has to be careful when uh, you know when the person he himself is suffering he need to cover uh, he need to take care he should not go in the open he should not go in the crowded place so that the other person can be prevented from such kind of diseases and um, this is all we have to discuss in the communicable diseases now we will talk about we will make a chart uh, which includes all the diseases not all the diseases but the the maximum diseases or the very common diseases which are caused by the bacteria and the other microorganisms so we'll just move to the next topic please note this